Hey, welcome my fellow investors. It's me, ET. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a self-taught investor who likes looking for great companies to invest in in order to increase my net worth. And boy, today have I found another one. This here is an OTC company. And you guys know, with an OTC company, high risk, high reward, but also a lot of risk. Now, there is only one other OTC company that I have a lot of convictions in that I do videos on on a consistent basis, and that's Humble, but I found another one. Eyeless International is a uh, merger and acquisition company that uh, I ran across in, in April. Um, you know, I didn't have a lot of convictions, but I wanted to give it a shot, so I only bought like a thousand shares. And then realistically in August and September, as I started to find out more and they started to release more press releases and I started looking into it more, boy, my conviction went from that of so-so to that of, okay, I like this company. This company is, it's on its way. So what I want to do right now in this video is I want to talk about why I'm sold on iOS. All right. Number one. It, it is definitely not your most typical OTC company. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of the near term ups, near term upside potential for this company. All right. With most OTCs, you know, you're going to have to go through this growth period. This one here is rapidly growing. And I believe that they're going to hit a certain price. Well, they have expectations of hitting a certain price target within the next six to six to nine months. And if that's the case, look out. Oh my goodness. So I like that. And we'll talk more about that. All right. They have new technology. It's called the water mist technology. And what that is, is realistically, they, they have the equipment and the technology in order to use less water in order to put out a fire. Once we get to the slides, I'll talk to you about the fire bug and the equipment that's used to put out a typical car fire how much water it, the water mist technology uses to put out a, a, a car fire versus your standard way. When you hear that, you're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. I'm telling you, it's gonna blow your mind. All right, but new technology, water mist technology, I love it. All right, leadership is very transparent. You're gonna find that in a lot of OTC companies, but this one here is definitely, that's definitely transparent, but also they let you know what the expectations are. They let you know what the estimates are, where they're going, when they're planning on getting there. That I love about this company. And currently this company is working on 10 uh, possible acquisitions. This is how the company makes its money. It goes out there and find uh, uh, companies out there, high tech companies out there. It's really that they can relate it to the emergency services uh, sector and they go out and they buy up that technology, they buy the company, they buy the plant, distribution center, whatever it is, and they start making money that way. And they do that on successful companies anyway. So I, I like that, that uh, thesis that they have. So they're working on 10 more possible acquisitions. Um, you know, they've only been around since January. And so they've got two quarters under their belt. But when you look at their quarters, they're improving quarter over Clover quarter revenue growth, Q1, you're talking about $500,000. Q2, three months later, 2.3 mil. Revenues up 360%. Profit, 375% uh, compared to the first quarter. That's mind blowing. And they came out and said that they uh, estimated revenue for 2021 of $15 million. Think about that. <laughs> They've already got about what 2.8 total, uh, and <laughs> you're talking about now. It, that's what uh, that, 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 that's 12 million dollars left within the, the last six months of the year. That's what they said. I like to hear something like that. So they know something a lot more than what we know, and they plan. They have a currently they have 1.22 billion outstanding shares of, of stock. They have plans to reduce those shares to well up under one billion. All right, reduce shares. Hey, that's going to also drive up the price. And they came out and said they're going to do all of this with no reverse split. 
What companies will come out and do that? Tell you bef way beforehand at this stage, you're talking about this is October, 10 months into their existence, they didn't come out and tell you that we're gonna grow this company and we're gonna do it without a reverse split. Wow, I, I hope they can do it. And the very last thing, and this is the thing that really caught my attention along with all of this, with all of this, I think this last thing is possible. And that is they plan to uplist to the NASDAQ. And there's certain requirements that you gotta have for NASDAQ. And one of the main requirements for NASDAQ is you're gonna have to maintain a price, a certain price for a certain length of time. Four bucks, four bucks. But you can also get in at three and possibly even two. You gotta meet other more uh, stringent criteria. But bottom line, anywhere from two to four bucks, that's what it's gonna need in order for them to get into that. And they say they're going to uplist and have it done within the next six to nine months. Who puts that type of information out there? I've heard companies say, yes, our plan is to uplist to the NASDAQ, but they don't put it on the timeline. Wow. That's one of the reasons why I like this company. I like their technology. I like their leadership. I like the fact that they're giving us timelines on certain things. Now think about it. If I'm not mistaken, as of the taping of this taping, the price of the stock is uh, 40 cents, 40 cents. All right. In order to be listed on the NASDAQ, you got to, it's going to be anywhere from two to four dollars. Two dollars at the low end. I'll take it. Forty cent investment turns into two dollars in the next six to nine months. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Four bucks could be the max. Oh, I'll take that, too. All right. What I want to do now is I want to go over some slides with you, tell you a little bit more about the company and also about my positions that I have within the company as well. So let's check it out. Iris, boy, I tell you what, this stock here is ready to blast off. Matter of fact, looking at the price movement of this stock, the engines are definitely warming up. I mean, think about it. The revenue quarter over quarter is up 360%. Profit is up 375%. And they've only just begun. Let's take a look at uh, Iris International. Now, this here, Iris International, actually the name is uh, Estrato uh, Pictures International. Uh, this company is really a, a, a merger and acquisition company. They're, they're, they're focused on technology, engineering, and manufacturing, uh, and the manufacturing space. Uh, the companies that they currently have under their umbrella or subsidiaries is E-Raptor, FB Technologies, Firebugs, and TVC. Let's take a look at each one of them. It also shows you who... The uh, executives are, the location, website, as well as the phone numbers to get in contact with them. But let's take a look at those subsidiaries. All right. First of all, let's take a look at uh, E-Raptor. All right. E-Raptor. Bottom line, to, to, to put it quite frank, what E-Raptor is, is a, a six-wheel electric utility vehicle. Trust me, there's definitely going to be a market for it. All right, next company here is FB Technologies. FB Technologies is a global technology company developing manufacturing specialty technology uh, equipment mainly for the emergency service and mission critical companies. All right, so you can see that they're gonna have nozzles, also utility vehicles, and looks like a small version of a fire truck there, as well as the various types of uh, uh, firefighting equipment. Now let's take a look at Firebug. Firebug here is the nozzle, the mist nozzle that's used for that mist technology. Uh, as you can see, this fireman is putting out a car fire. The mist technology in this nozzle, I tell you what, is going to be groundbreaking and I, I, <laughs> it's going to save a lot of water. Give you an example. Typical, a typical car fire that's engulfed. It's going to take 280 gallons of water to put out. With this mist technology, it only takes seven. Wow. All right, TBC. TBC is a conversion company. Basically what they're doing is they're com com converting vehicles really for the, the emergency services industry there. And then we have BCD Fire. And that there is really the, for the buildings, suppression for the buildings. 
Um, you know, you're going to have your, your fire suppression systems there, your fire alert systems there, fire prevention systems there. All of this here is part of the BCD fire. Now let's take a look at uh, real quick, this, just some of the highlights of the second quarter's earnings report. All right, I've talked about it when we were at the board, but bottom line, Q2 profit increased 375% over Q1. That's outstanding. If you look at the balance sheet, look at the assets. The assets are up 24 million. Liabilities are also up 8 million, but the key thing is you got more liabilities than you, you have more assets than liabilities. So just like in a regular household, it's the net worth, you got positive net worth here. And then we look at the revenue, which we've already talked about, you know, so far as the growth of the revenue and the profits there. Now, we already know that they're, they're planning on uh, reducing some of the shares of stock. Currently, there's at one22 uh, billion shares and they have uh, ambitions and plans to reduce to bring that up under a billion shares so that's going to be good news here is uh, just some of the the press releases that they have I've got this uh, I believe this one was from Wall Street Journal but you can actually go to the website and uh, take a look at all of their press releases there but uh, Great information. Information is coming out about their acquisitions, what's going on with them. This is a very, very transparent company. It keeps you up to breast of what's going on. This here is a, uh, uh, a, chart, a chart summary of, uh, as of the close of business, uh, not actually, actually as of today, the 12th of October at 1229. Uh, but also, if you look at the bottom, this here is a year-to-date chart, a one-year chart. This company came into existence. It started in, in January of this year, 2021. And as you can see here, look at the growth of this. If you draw a trend line, my goodness, look at that trend line going from here all the way up to here. And if you notice, at the height, it was at 48 cents and it peeled back, but it's climbing back again. Now, the key is this here. Once it breaks through the 48 cents, which was the all time high, which is the resistance, if it can break through that versus just touching it, going over it a little bit and coming back down, if it can break through that, that new, that 48 cents will then become not the uh, resistance, but the re support. So we're looking forward to that. And it's on its way to that. And this just kind of gives you an idea of what's going on when it comes to short activity when it, as it relates to uh, ILIS. And right now, uh, you're talking about 41% of the volume is from shorts. Um, it's above the 20%. You don't want to say anything above 20%, but realistically, it's been flirting. It's, you know, from that 30 to 40%, it's actually trending down more so than anything else if we take it from here draw a trend line down here it's on a downward trend so hopefully it stays on that downward trend and this here is my current position within ILIS all right I uh, I don't know how I was turned on to the stock but I picked up a thousand shares back in April uh, for nine cents and I didn't buy any more until August bought another thousand shares for seven cents in August and then after that we're talking about September is when I really started to accumulate them and you can see the dates, the number of shares, the price that I paid for it. The very bottom, I have a total of uh, 6,000 shares. My cost basis is 25 cents. The amount that I paid for my 6,000 shares was 14.93 and 41 cents. Uh, the current price is 40 cents. And as you can see, my net profit is $923.99. I am up 62%. You gotta love it. This. I believe it's just the beginning, especially if they want to uplist to the NASDAQ and they're going to do that without a reverse split. Come on. 40 cents is a deal. There you have it. And think about it. They want to pull off uplisting to the NASDAQ within the next six to nine months. I think they have the technology to do it. I think they have the leadership to do it. If they can get those acquisitions, they're going to hit their price target. So I am very hyped on this company. 
I will keep you guys abreast every time there's any type of major changes coming on with the company by sending out a new video. But in order to keep up with it, you got to hit that like, subscribe, notification button. Not only will it keep you abreast of when, when I come out with a new video, but also it's going to help out the channel. And come on, help me out. All right, guys, I will see you guys on the next video. Guys, take care. Bye-bye. Come on now. That's right. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe buttons, followed by that notification button. That'll help out the channel. Thanks.